All right, everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be working on how to add fractions with unwagged denominators. So let's get started. So we have here 7 over 10 plus 1 over 5. Our first job is to make the bottom numbers the same. So we want to find out what number do 5 and 10 both go into. To do that, we're going to count with the smaller number first. We're going to count by 5s. 5, 5, 10. Well, look at that. 5 goes into 10, and we have a 10 already. So we can stop there. Now let's count by 10s. 10, right? Because 10 times 1 is 10. So we stop there. We found out what we need to multiply both numbers by to get to 10, which is the number they share. So now, what do we need to multiply 10 by to get to 10? If you said 1, that is correct. And what do we need to multiply 5 by to get to 10? 2. There you go. Good job that you don't want to forget. This is a very important rule. Whatever you do to the bottom, you must do to the top. So that means the 7 is going to be multiplied by 1. And the 1 is going to be multiplied by 2. Because that is what we did to the denominators of that fraction. Okay, moving on. So now we rewrite the fraction. We rewrite it. So let's go with 7 over 10, because it's going to stay the same, plus 2 over 10. There we go. Because we applied all the multiplication rules for both sides. Okay, and that is going to equal 9 over 10 because we don't add the denominators, we only add the numerators. That is a key rule to remember. All right. Okay, so we are moving on. Here we have 1 over 6 plus 3 over 4. This one's a little bit more tricky because 4 does not go into 6, so we have to count a bit further. But like last time, our job is to find out what number do 4 and 6 both go into. So let's count by 4s. The smaller number, 4, 8, 12, 16, all right, and 20. We're going to stop for now because we don't want to count too high up just yet. We want to test out the other number to see what they both go into. Let's count by sixes. 6, 12. All right, 18. Oh, let's stop right there. Did we find the number? Yes, they both go into 12. They both go into 12. So that is the number that we are going to be working with. All right, so let's ask ourselves, what do we need to multiply 4 by to get to 12? If you said 3, because we have three numbers, 1, 2, 3, in the 4 times table, then we're going to multiply the 4 by 3. And remember the rule, whatever we do to the bottom, we do to the top. So we're going to multiply the 3 by 3 as well. Now, what do we multiply the 6 by? Well, how many times did we add 6? Twice. So that means we're going to multiply by 2 here, the denominator, and the numerator by 2 as well. And now it's time to rewrite the fraction. So we get 2 over 12, 2 over 12, and we're going to add 9 over 12 as well see our bottom numbers are the same and that's what we want that is why we're doing all this because we cannot add the fraction until the bottom numbers are the same so now we find out our final answer what is it pause the video if you said 11 over 12 that is correct good job so that is the answer there all right let's do one more all right, and we have arrived at the last question of the video. Now, if you follow through the video up until this point, I recommend you try this question yourself and see if you arrive at the right answer, the same one we will get in this video. So, what do you first? What number do both 2 and 7 go into? Let's start with the 2. There we go. 2, 4, 6, 8, 
10, 12, and 14. Now, if you know your seven timetable, you know that seven goes into 14. So let's count by seven down here, seven, 14. There we go, we've arrived at it. So our number that they share and they both go into would be 14. So the question is, what do we multiply the two by to get to 14? Well, the answer is seven. Now remember, whatever you do to the bottom, you do to the top. So times seven here as well. So what do we multiply seven by? 7, 14, right? So by two, there we go. And now we rewrite the fraction. So we get four over 14 plus seven over 14 as well. And what does that give us? If you answered 11 over 14, you are correct. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope that it helped you. This is how to add fractions with unlike denominators. If you feel like this helped you, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel and keep learning. Good job. I'll see you in the next one.